Oliver Cromwell, Dissolution of the Long Parliament. It is high time for me to put an end to your sitting in this place, which you have dishonoured by your contempt of virtue and defiled by your practice of every vice. Ye are a factious crew and enemies to all good government. Ye are a pack of mercenary wretches and would, like Esau, sell your country for a mess of pottage, and like Judas, betray your God for a few pieces of money. Is there a single virtue now remaining amongst you? Is there one vice you do not possess? Ye have no more religion than my horse. Gold is your god. Which of you have not bartered your conscience for bribes? Is there a man amongst you that has the least care for the good of the commonwealth? Ye sordid prostitutes! Have you not defiled this sacred place and turned the Lord's temple into a den of thieves? by your immoral principles and wicked practices. Ye are grown intolerably odious to the whole nation. You, who were deputed here by the people to get grievances redressed, are yourselves the greatest grievance. Your country therefore calls upon me to cleanse this Augean stable by putting a final period to your iniquitous proceedings in this house, and which, by God's help and the strength he has given me, I am now come to do. I command you therefore, upon the peril of your lives, to depart immediately out of this place. Go, get you out. Make hasty venal slaves be gone. So. Take away that shining bauble there and lock up the doors.